Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your girl, G Flowers. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hair. It's been been in for I think like two weeks now. I know it's really trifling. Normally I wash my hair every week, but I have been so freaking busy that I just haven't done anything. My apartment's in shambles. My hair is dirty. I mean, my clothes need to be washed. It's just uh, everything, everything all at the same time. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me stop. I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial on how to wash your Indian hair. Um, just quick background. This is Gentle Wave um, 16 inch bought from Hallie's Curls. Two bundles, uh, which is a total of eight ounces, and then a small uh, lace closure. So, before you start, when you wash your hair, you want to make sure you have all the essentials with you. Sometimes I wash in the shower, sometimes I wash like at the sink. Today I'm going to try to show and tell, like do it at the same time, so that's why I chose the sink. Plus, I take a long time to wash my hair, so like the water is freezing by the time I finally finish when I do it in the shower, so this will probably work out better anyway. So, things you need, you will need a wide tooth comb, um, yeah, mine's a little jagged, but, and this is not the comb that I like, but I lost my other one, so, whatever, just as long as you have a wide tooth comb, um, <clears throat> butterfly clips, because you're going to section off the hair, I usually, like, wash, like, a side, do it down the middle and wash each side separately, so it doesn't get tangled or matted or anything like that. I'll be washing with Dove Intense Damage Therapy Shampoo, um, recommendation from the HalliesCurls.com, and I have Intensive Repair Dove Conditioner that I'll be using as well. Um, for my hair, up under here, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get it with those products, but one thing I will be doing after is spraying it with anti-itch anti, well not anti itch, it's called itch, itch Relief, and it's from Vital, if you can see, uh, something my grandmother gave me, um, and it's really good, like if your hair, if you're itching and you can't get to that spot, use spray, or you can use Sea Breeze, or you know, any type of itch relief spray is, I mean, they're all going to do the same thing, but you know, it gets to get itchy, so, <clears throat> and then I also have a just a motion leave-in conditioner just to spray on my hair so that it won't be so <sighs> whatever. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Uh, I probably should have done this first. Sorry about that, but um, I uh, braided it. Decided to braid it up these little sides here in the front because I was just wearing. <clears throat> Like, part of it clipped up this way. But that was getting on my nerves, so I wanted to do something different. So I was like, how do we go for a little Pocahontas look? And, you know, um, get a couple braids going in there. Switch it up. This is, like, the longest I've worn my hair curly in a long time. Normally, I get a curly sew-in, and I, I wear it curly, but I wear it not Indian curly, but um, hot roller curly. So normally I wash it, <clears throat> uh, let it air dry, or I blow dry it out, and maybe I'll flat iron it, and then I'll hot roll it, and I'll go to sleep and take it out and wear the hot rollers. I wish I had a picture to show you guys. Maybe I'll find a picture um, to show you guys. But first thing you want to do is comb out your hair. Well, I like to comb it out. Just comb through it. Make sure there are no big tangles in there because I don't want to start washing and it's tangled. So, um, you know, just kind of, just kind of go through it. And this, you know, this hair has been really good. I will say that, um, it, it does tangle a little bit, but only like in the back back, like at the nape of the neck is where I get the most tangling. And it could be that way now because it's just dirty and I haven't washed it, so I'm not really sure. But the hair is awesome. I still love my Hallie's curls. Still love it. So yeah, get the majority of the kinks out. Let's see. <clears throat> my lighting is so bad in here. If you guys can't tell, I have like, you know, like the lamp that you put 
on like your nightstand or the bed, not the big lamp, but just like the little read a book lamp. I have that facing me, so it looks like I have a spotlight. Only because my lighting sucks in here. It just sucks everywhere. The bathroom is the only good place. But I have a bulb missing in there. And I'm not sure that I have the right type of bulb. I might have to make a trip to Target later to get a bulb. Because I cannot be without light. I am like a light freak. Like, I'm the one that comes in and turns every single light on in the house. My mom used to get me. Oh, she used to get me about that. She hated it. Like, why do you have all the red for? Are you even in there? I'm like, no, not anymore. So as you can see, I've pretty much gotten all the kinks out. It's one little kink back here, though. But not looking too good. Start at the bottom. You want to work your way up if you have, like, a, a big kink. And then you should be able to run through it. doesn't take much to get it out. Found another one. And I hold it because I don't want to like yank. So if you hold here, then you're not yanking from your whole head when you're trying to pull out the king. So that's pretty much good. As you can see, not a whole, you probably can't see, but not a whole lot of hair. I don't even know if you can see that. Sorry. I'm putting it in my shirt. Not a whole lot of hair. That's so tacky. Sorry, you guys. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to part my hair with my fingers straight down the middle. I'm going to start and twist this up. Whatever works best for you. Got a little cold play fan in the back. You guys can hear that. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> or maybe not. These are, this hair is so thick. Like, it's so much hair. So, <clears throat> maybe I should twist it up a little bit. Twist it up and clip it up there however you can get it clipped up there. Basically. Um. And we're going to start washing this side. So, and I do have the um, sink sprayer, which is a very good plus. Um, so you want to get the water together. You want to get uh, warm water, lukewarm water, not very hot, not very cold to start off with. You want to wash in lukewarm water. I'm gonna have to fix that, but anyway. <clears throat> so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna wash. Wash is very simple. You wet. So I would do like this. I'm gonna wet it all. You get it all. Take about mm, maybe dime, quarter size. Distribute evenly. Run through. Run through with my hands. You don't ever want to rub and swish because that tangles the hair. It create, creates friction and it's just not a good look. So. You want to do all of that. Um, you want to use the sprayer. Make sure you get down in there. You want to get up under. Get your hair as well that you have. Uh, if you don't have a net. I know if you have a net, it's a little difficult to get to it. But um, I don't have a net with this weave, so I can get to my hair. Thank goodness. So I'm going to wash both sides, and then I'll come back before I do the conditioner. <laughs> 